Well, the controller arrived. This is my first time opening it. I think I got a manual. And the English is not terrible. Usually, Chinese to English translation in some of these operating manuals is uh, <laughs> pretty terrible. That doesn't look so bad. So here it is. Packaged pretty nicely. I don't see the you know the box was in good condition. So that usually means the device is hopefully going to be in good condition. See, there's a little sweat on it, but I'm not very concerned about that yet. It's, I don't know, maybe four pounds or so, four or five pounds, and that's all self-explanatory. Uh, this is a, a hybrid controller, so I could run solar to this also, and then there's a three-wire for the turbine, um, and internally there's a rectifier. This replaces the rectifier. Uh, and then, yeah, these are my uh, load controls, and I think V0. I know I can run a dump load off of this, like a resistor or, you know, whatever, any kind of dump load. Same as the, the dump load in my uh, basement, but it's obviously at a, a limited amperage. Uh, this is a 1,000 watt, 24 volt, so, yeah, it's probably, I don't know. 40 amp max or something like that on the dump and then uh, it's got a R232 port for connecting to the computer which uh, I'm going to do some experimenting with today but uh, kind of excited to get her hooked up because the turbines are actually spinning so yeah let's get her going check back in a bit okay well it is quite a bit later, and I did a whole bunch of surgery to this whole area. I had two turbine rectifiers with uh, fans and temp sensors and everything. I actually uh, sliced the board down because I eliminated the 500 watt turbine, and I moved the generator. Uh, rectifier and fan over a hole and slice that whole end of the board off because I don't really plan on adding on anymore. I'm I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'm sustaining. Uh, it's uh, 11 o'clock at night and this is something I have never seen before hanging out in my basement turbine has been connected for about an hour and you can see I've accumulated almost 240 watt hours uh, which is pretty sweet um, this is something it has never done. I, I, I hooked it up to, through the shunt to this meter also, just because, uh, this accumulator is, uh, more specific. This one also has an accumulator. Oops. Two hundred watt hours is... 0.2 kilowatt hours. Um, I'm gonna leave this one and not reset it and let just th this one just be my total uh, accumulated kilowatt hour. This one will do individual watt hours one at a time all the way up to uh, 10,000 I believe. Um, yeah, 900 and 
99 and then when it clicks over to 10,000 it goes to 10 kW uh, and then I can reset it uh, then I can just keep a more accurate day by day exact number of what uh, this thing is generating because I know what it was generating and what it's going to now um, that's why I, I really I, I'm not worried about losing the 500 this is actually the first time I've seen it go uh, down to zero, zero watts since the controller has been engaged. Uh -huh. It's kind of funny. Um, this is what I see a lot of when I was using the rectifier. Because um, the rectifier has no computer chip in it. It's just a straight up uh, diodes in order that they... They straighten out the AC, you know, you can see with the schematic there, if you <laughs> can read schematics. Positive can only go one way, negative can only come back the other way. So the three diodes straighten out the pulsating AC three phase coming from the permanent magnet alternator turbines. Um, and when they get spinning fast enough, that eventually reaches battery voltage. When it gets above it, it can begin to push power in, but only as long as that stays above it. Um, what this controller here does, uh, this MPPT wind controller. Um, disappointed, I haven't found a single video of this thing uh, anywhere, so. Um, anybody that has information on connecting this to a computer, that'd be awesome. I did manage to, uh, get my way through the parameters and, the uh, the Chinese to English, uh, translation and, uh, manual that I've got her dialed in pretty darn good. Um, uh, it's getting close to spring, so, and I'm going to have... More power coming in now, so I actually got to hook something to my dump load again. I've had that unhooked all winter, so I'll put that back to use. And I um, kind of recalibrated all of my charge controllers so that I can get the most power out of all of them collectively without them fighting each other. Um, but yeah, this can take the input current from the wind turbine when it's at a lower RPM and when it's only making, you know, eight volts, it can boost that up to, uh, I've got a 24 volt bank, it can boost that up to 24, 25, whatever, um, and turn it into something, you know, something. With my rectifier, this would all be zero. It was usually bouncing from zero to 50, zero to 50, Sometimes to 20, back to zero, and then I'd zoom up to 100, and then back to zero. So this is just steady power. No, these aren't impressive numbers, but it's steady power. When I finally go to bed here, right now the house is using 209 watts. Uh, the fridge is probably running, and the wife is watching TV. Oh, looks like the freezer just kicked on too. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> but when I go to bed and I turn all the lights off, everything gets shut down. Um, the inverter itself uses, I think it's like 29 watts or something at uh, no load idle. So if this is going all night, that's going to offset the lost power of that running all night. Uh, while I'm sleeping and I'm going to wake up to uh, the same battery voltage or potentially higher battery voltage uh, which was the whole goal of getting into wind here but I haven't been able to achieve it because I have very weak wind here so for those of you that experience uh, strong consistent wind frequently um, 
rectifier might just be great for you. They've been great for a lot of people. Um, most people that get into wind. That's kind of the rule of wind is don't bother unless you have wind. Um, but a rectifier and a dump load controller works great. You know, this gets up to set voltage and puts power to this terminal. I can run that to anything, a resistor bank, a hot water heater, lights, all kinds of stuff to burn off excess power. Um, and that's your charge controller if you're just running a rectifier. This has, uh, it's called soft braking. It doesn't just straight up ground out the stator in the PMA the way uh, some of the older controllers would. Um, it, uh, it's a, a PWM braking, so it, you know, just gently uh, pulsating grounds out one phase at a time and slows it down. Uh, so it just, you know, it's, um, but it's not breaking it, it's not jamming it up, and uh, it's not overheating the stator the way it just uh, flat out ground in her can because there's all that electromagnetic resistance inside of there. Um, but so far, yeah, super stoked about the new controller. Uh, I can see if I can try to show you the interface here. So with wind, I can uh, see amps, volts before rectification. So this is what's actually coming in from the turbine is 16 volts. And that's turning that into over 24.72 to be able to charge. So it's boosting that incoming and it's turning it into something. You know, it's actually turning it into usable power. That's awesome. 30, 30, 40 watts. Um, which otherwise would not be doing squat with a rectifier. So... Um, watts accumulated, uh, not positive, but that screen is, I think, uh, just went back to amps, yeah, and then, um, and there's, a. Uh, uh, battery state of charge. I really haven't uh, played with too much of this. Uh, amps in, watts in. Uh, and then I've got two light controllers for outs. Uh, internal temperature. And this is kind of a cool feature. It uh, keeps track of my RPM. So the turbine is currently spinning 150 RPMs. <laughs> Make 13 watts. Sweet. <laughs> um, so we got it. And then it goes back up to PV. This is a hybrid solar controller. I think this, this current model can take 200 watts of solar, which really isn't a lot, not a very useful PV. I got it for the, I got it for the wind function. <coughs> and then the parameters and settings and everything is uh, rather complicated actually. Um, I don't want to get into it on this video, it'll get too long, but uh, I like it. Um, the only other one that I've had any experience with only had one button, and it, uh, you know, we did manage to get it uh, partially dialed in, but it was really tedious and it was cold, so I didn't spend as much time on it as I should have, and I've got, uh, currently they're set where the charge controllers are fighting each other. So uh, the, the solar is going too high and it's it's breaking the, 
the turbine and and vice versa so um, we got a little bit more dialing in to do on that other system up north but uh, yeah excited about the progress here so thanks for watching uh, any questions I'm sure there'll be a few about this uh, I'll post the link to the controller in the description um, and I'm still getting ready to do the video on the inverter I've had a couple people asking me about that so I brought my welder and compressor and chop saw a few things down here and I'll get to it I got you know I got a kid homeschooling so I can only make X amount of noise <laughs> at certain times so anyhow thanks for watching God bless you take care